Shot 112, I just walked in and Shot 112 is actually a party. That's what this is what every girl sounds like when they <laughs> when they type LOL. <laughs> oh my god, that was so funny. <laughs> Shot 112. And we got a special guest, Vintage Express. Joy's back. <laughs> We switch seats, baby. Switch seats this is a different view. You had the nice view over here. You got to got to look outside, see outside, and it looks like one of those fake. Like when you look at a newscast, I always thought those were real. Like behind, like right. a newscast, it's like this city skyline. I'm like, God, I wonder where that really is. Where's that window that they're sitting? What a view! Are we on? Yeah. We're oh, we've been on. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get my fucking mic here. I'm four stirring it here. It's all good. So what's up, dude? Nothing, man. Crazy, crazy times. Like summertime. What? It's officially summer. I always hated, I always hated how you know people would be like, "Well, it's the first official day of summer on June 21st." I'm like, dude, summer been, started su- June one. It's su- summer started Cinco de Mayo. Is that the official start? Yeah, it that's is. a Molinar like, schedule. Like midway May, midway May Molinar. That's a Molinar schedule. You got summer starting. Cinco de Mayo, fall starts, well, fall's pretty on point. Fall starts Labor Day weekend in my mind. September, Labor Day weekend, first weekend of college football, there you go. Dun, dun. Dude, it felt like college football today. What was the slate today? It was like kind of brisk in the morning and then the sun Yeah, like out. a weird cloud coverage as well. Yeah. Like it's wanting to be fall, but it's still kind of that weird Indian summer. Yeah. I was I was feeling like a little Wake Forest uh, Bowling Green on ESPNU. For some reason, the kickoff was at like 9 a.m. Though that's like what it felt like outside to me. Hmm. Maybe NFL when they're playing in London and it's like the Jags <laughs> versus. The, I hate that. It's the dude. Jags versus the Cardinals, <laughs> and they try so hard to make it a big deal because it's in London. And every every song that they play going to commercial is uh, London calling on London. Blah, 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 blah. I don't really like those games. <laughs> Do you? The only reason I like him is because it's right when like you, you said to our- wake up. It's like, oh, it's football day. It's nine a.m. at football, and then the one o'clock kick at football. You know, I yeah. wish that uh, I wish they just did that in the states. Just wake their ass just up 7 early, a.m. kick. Yeah, it'd be like JV. <laughs> JV game, you know, the real game, like a Saturday or a freshman game on Saturday morning at like eight thirty. Why were those so early? I, I don't know, but can you imagine? JVs, 8 a.m. Can you imagine rolling up to Lucas Oil or something for a <laughs> 9 o'clock kick? There'd be like nine people in the crowd. No way, dude. I think that'd be crazy. <laughs> All the tailgaters would be like, biscuits and gravy! Yeah, they'd like start, they'd start tailgating like the night before. <laughs> yeah, they'd sleep there. <laughs> they'd in their motorhomes. 8 p.m. <laughs> on Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> they do buffalo chicken biscuits and gravy. They'd have biscuits inside the biscuits and gravy Can I, that's actually a fire idea yeah i don't think that would be bad what's up with you man are you back on stage are the stages Dude, last open? night last yeah. night there's an open mic at jokers really how'd that go five people love, there love, it was kind of tight love though. jokers open mic it was kind of like it was kind of it was like are we gonna do it we only have five people usually when there's five people it's like canceled pretty much but it was like let's just go up there and do whatever everybody wanted the stage time just to like like feel it out. People are just up there talking, and when there's like five people in the crowd, you can like give feedback. Like if somebody says a joke, you could like keep like, going. Yo, what? Yeah, exactly. Like, no, do it. <laughs> so, so it was just so it was just like a workshop then, kind of. It was yeah. like a comedy workshop. It was good to get up there again, though. Right? Did it feel weird? Did you forget how to do it? Uh, kind of. Cause since I've been doing this, I was like used to You're it. Good. That's good. Yeah, but I don't know how the other people did it. I was nervous as hell. Yeah. <laughs> but in front of like five people who cares, you know what Stand-up I mean? Stand-up comedy is nerve-wracking, bro. There were two girl bartenders, though, and I was like... <sighs> You're on an island, you know? It's it's sink or swim, baby. So let's cut to the chase here, man. What's going on with the cats? <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, they're perfect as always. We just got them. A, we just got them a little uh, heated blanket. We spoil our cats. What? Yeah, it was at this heated uh, blanket like Home Goods store yesterday. For Not cats? Home goods store. It was uh, you know Marshalls. You know, it's like <laughs> Marshalls the, and Home Goods. Are like yeah, they're sisters. Tied. Yeah, 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 and uh, they're tied together. They're like conjoined. The twins. one in the one in Greenwood by the <laughs> mall. Yep, I yep. just drove by that, and it was not that expensive. And so we snagged it for him. It's laying out there. I don't really know if they like it too much. Remy, Remy's more experimental. He'll kind of hop into anything without any regard. But Ruby's kind of like, what yeah. we got going on here? I feel that. You know, Ruby gives me that vibe. So they're doing well though, man. They're, Ruby's my GF. I know they're good. They're good. Uh, no real update on them. You see them. You see them enough. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I just want to let the people know. You know. Yeah, that's true. It has been a while. For the people. Dude, for the I, uh, people. <laughs> people. <laughs> the people. I got this shout out on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And this girl was like, hey, uh, you should do a segment about myths your parents told you growing up. Like, whether they're real or not. So we're talking, like, the classic, don't sit too close to the TV, your eyes will get crossed. <laughs> Literally number one. Yeah. Um, you got any crazy ones your dad said or anything? He claimed when I was in middle school that if I drank, the more soda I drank, the worse acne I'd have. Well, is that a thing with chocolate? Some people won't eat chocolate because they're like, I don't want to get zits. I don't know, but I like I took it for fact kind of back then because I was like, I guess that makes sense. Like soda doesn't really do anything. It doesn't do anything good for you at all. And I could see it like having some weird, you know, like the sugar. I don't know. I was just like, okay, I'll buy that. But I, I, I really don't think that's true. No, nah, I've never heard of the soda one. He, he might have twisted that up and just to make you not drink. I know that's what you know. Later on, I'm like, oh, he just didn't want me to drink soda. He knew when I was in middle school, very self conscious, puberty. You know, oh, acne. The more soda you drink. So, I don't know if that would stop me. Like, everybody has acne. Like, <laughs> Right, but when you got, like, a big old white head on the tip of your nose and, like, your forehead is just, like, a freaking mountain in there, you got to figure I something a, out. I had a bad one for, like, a week. It just wasn't going in. One of those zits that's just a bully, bro. Dude, those ones that are right in the center just, of your eyebrows? Just a 270-pound nose guard just on my forehead. Just not moving. Yeah. Like, just disrupting. Just hello nata Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looking inside the microwave while it's running will deform your future kids. Not looking in there, but like if you, they advise pregnant women not to be close to My, like microwaves or ovens and they're on because of like radiation and stuff. Yeah, but they're just on their phones all day. Like, That's <laughs> true. But my dad, he's still big about that. He He's like, if I have my phone on my like thigh or my lap or anything, he's like, get that off there. Really? Radiation. You want, you want to not be able to have kids? <laughs> Dude, you're dead. And I'm like, okay, well, you want testicular cancer? I'm like, no. From your Get phone being there. right there? Yeah. Well, your phone's always in your pocket, right? So it's kind of like... And I'm like, Dad, you are you. there's 24 hours of the day. You're talking on your phone for at least 19 of them. I mean, you're going to get brain cancer. Like what? <laughs> the microwave is a weird thing, though. Like when I microwave food sometimes, I'm like, that was only 15 seconds and it takes the oven 25 minutes. There's no way. Yeah. Like that's... What's going on? I, I do try. I, I mean, it's fair. Like, I do try to not stand in front of it at all or, like, buy it. I try to get away from it because I, in my subconscious, I guess, I just have, like, a... I mean, it sounds like it's a nuclear device. Microwave. It doesn't make any sense. And it moves in slow motion, too. I think it's just because you're actually, like, the seconds are real there. Whereas in our head, you know, five seconds is like one, two, three, four, five, and when then it's really like, like a full yeah, five rotation. Way longer than you think, dude. If you put something in the microwave for a minute and a half, this has happened to me multiple times recently at my place. I'll put it for a minute and a half. I'll like go to the bathroom, check Get something on my wash. phone, go take the trash out, and I'm like, there's still ten seconds on this thing. What? Uh, this is insane. Yeah. What was your Mississippi when you play uh, pick up football? Was it ten? Is that the Universal? 10 Mississippi? 10 Mississippi. Dude, I, dude honestly, we, we like to blitz like when we played out uh -huh. there, so we just did 5 Apple. <laughs> wow. 
So you had to be. I mean, and had, why is it apples yeah. in Mississippi, dude? <laughs> like, oh, right. what are we playing? Five apple. If you never played like backyard football before, you'd be like, what the fuck? Couldn't it be like apple. something that coincided, you know, <laughs> like oranges in Florida? You know what I mean? Apples. I guess just because it's like Mississippi, you know, one Mississippi, two, like that it's said out loud is supposed to be a full second. Yeah. Apple, though. What? Where did that come from? Did you ever play with Oh, yeah. Well, no, apple's apple. like a, yeah. One apple, two apple, three apple. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you would think they'd pick a longer fruit, though. Maybe a strawberry. One, one strawberry, strawberry, two, two strawberry, strawberry, three. That's closer to five, though. I mean, you had to have, like, freaking Russell Wilson back there. Dude, and I would count so. One apple, two apple, three apple, oh, four apple. Go! Yeah. It was literally two Quarterback would get so pissed. But that was so fun, though. He dodged the guy at the line of screen. Oh, and when they blitz, you can run. So that's why we did that. Right. If you pee in a pool, there's a special dye that will turn it red so everybody knows. Mm, can you imagine? Big summertime. You always want to test it, but it was very it was very risky. Cause you're like, it is it full on, like a full pool of piss? Or is it just like if I give a little drop or two? Every drop is, is die. What if you did that and didn't tell anybody? Like at like a pool party for people. You just our got age. rid of it. Like you you like and you just got away with it? No, and you just like you know people do that all the time. Like No way people piss in pools. I like think that. so, man. No people way, are weird. Dude. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I swear to God. You know, there's some weird ass. Maybe like, in a girls public, like big pool that That's has like saying, little like, shit at kids. Apartment downtown, like pool party, like somebody's gonna be, get drunk and piss in the pool, like our age for sure. You know? Are we talking like intentionally, like oh, like hey, I'm pissing in the pool, or just like no, there's just like, like fuck doing it. it, just doing it. Like I don't want to go, bro. I don't want to go to the bathroom. I just pissed in the pool. Oh, see, that is a big thing though. Like if they, if you have a pool, <laughs> you gotta have a some sort of restroom outside. I don't care if it's a shack that just has like a trash bag in there. Give me something to where I don't have to dry off, go inside, walk upstairs. Oh, the wettest find, shorts of all time. Try that's to find why, it. That's why it's going to happen. Like my my mom gets so pissed about that in my folks pool. Like you can't be outside even when it's in the corner. People are going to see. I'm like, I, 15 seconds to just out here in the freedom in the open. I'm not going all the way inside and drying off. As a guy peeing outside though. Best feeling of all. Again, I, exactly, and they don't understand that. But I'm like, you got big bushes there, and then look, because here's the deal, man, is that you're gonna have to the the drying off process because nobody wants you to go in there when you're when even if you're a little bit wet, nobody wants you to go into their house when you're a little bit wet. So then, if you really have to pee because you're not gonna get out of the pool and take time to like dry off slowly and completely no. to prepare for a pee, like you're still you're all of a sudden it's like, man, I really gotta house. piss. And then you don't want to get out and try to wait there and dry off completely because you got to pee so bad. That's a, that's a mandatory thing for me. Give me something outside of the <laughs> pool that I can just excuse myself. Getting out of the pool though on the side rail. <laughs> Never Nobody used. does it. No. Even if you're the most, even if you're you, you just you don't look good doing it. The most avalanche of water. You're ever. like a, coming you're, off your ass, and you're like a turtle. I worked out for three years uh, for this pool party, <laughs> dude. Yeah, you got I gotta plum- go to the bathroom real quick. <laughs> you got plumber ass. The water's holding down your shorts. It's pulling out like you said. Like the water's going overflowing. You look hunched over. Like you automatically have like dude, hot dog dude. guy tits. Dude, a hot dog tits. Just use the stairs. Why does he man? have cone boobs? Just, his, his ass looks like a secretary's. <laughs> I don't know. He works out a lot. It's weird. Side of the pool. Eating carrots will give you night vision. What? Or like good vision. Did you ever hear oh, that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I always thought about that. And okay. Just, yeah, and you eat a couple of carrots, so I guess it isn't worth it. Yeah, at one point <laughs> I was like, I'm eating a lot more carrots than everybody else, but... I'll just, you know... I need to go to the eye doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, man. I'll never forget when I figured out my eyes were messed up. My teacher wrote me a note in fourth grade. She was, mm. she was like, slid it on my desk. And she's like, give this to your mom. And I read it. And it was like, I think Ben's eyes are bad. He keeps squinting from the back row. I was like, I need glasses. <laughs> well, that's what it could have said. You, you couldn't see very well, so. I know, but I just didn't want glasses. Then I got contacts in fifth grade. That was such a... I, that was such a weird transition of like growing up your entire life, glasses were universal for dork. <laughs> and then all of a sudden about two thousand nine, it was like if you don't have glasses, you're a dork. 
Oh, yeah, true. Like everybody wanted to have glasses. It was like an in thing that was like being either nerdy or like made you look so smart and sophisticated. You know what I mean? It's such a different look. But People I, that I, don't have glasses, I'm like, why? Yeah. I literally showed up to school one day and like, you know, six different dudes had glasses. Like, what the hell's going on? And everybody's like, oh, you don't know? No, gla- you know, glasses are hot now. You know, like, it's, it's sexy. Our you whole life, you're the biggest dork. Knock the books out of your hand of all time if <laughs> you, you had made glasses. You fun of me for this. Now you want to bang me? And now, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to gla- I'm going to eyeglass world after oh, school. What's up, four eyes? <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> How the hell does that happen? Nice frames. Tough to keep. Tough to keep up, dude. If you swallow your gum, it'll stay in your stomach for seven years. I believe it still. Mm. Why was that? I was just like pictures, like, like a bunch of like juicy fruit attached yeah. to my ribs and right, stuff. Right. Yeah. If you get like an X-ray or something, uh, son, what what do we have here? Been eating some double milk. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like, what is gum? I mean, what? Where does it go? It, it it makes sense that not even stomach acids would be able to break that no, down. Because nothing. what is it? It's just it's just sticky mush. <sighs> when I see like gum on the sidewalk and there's a bunch of ants on it, I'm like, good luck, guys. <laughs> Like just, Death trap. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are having some strong ass jaws. Hey, talk about another weird transition though. Like how sexy a piece of gum looks when it's fresh mm. out of the wrapper, oh. and then you know you chew it three times, you take it out, it's like, people, like Yo, what the hell is that? People put it under restaurant tables. Yeah. Like how lazy. <laughs> Have you ever done that? No. You're like no. <laughs> <Right now. laughs> it's, dude, it shocks me when I look under a table and there's so much gum. I'm I, like, I think that's just. I like, look for reasons to get up and like walk around why wouldn't you be like i think that's just one of those things that just you know like inexplicable things in the world just are there that no you know what i mean it's just like yeah that's how it's supposed to be you know like that gum underneath a table is just one of those things yeah it's just just the way it is yeah but like when you take gum out of a package and unfold it how do you put it in your mouth are we talking stick of gum stick og stick yeah, I put it. I put it in, and then I kind of bend the rest of it, and then <laughs> like if you don't bend I don't do it, bite like are, after you, bite. are you even hot? It's not a Kit Kat, <laughs> no, dude. And if you just lay it on your tongue, <laughs> psycho. <laughs> yeah, the bite thing. I have seen that. That <laughs> nah, you gotta you gotta put it a little bit, and then and then keep pushing. Bend it over bend the it top. Over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, See, I go. No, no, I don't go. Hold over on, the top. I, don't go, I, don't I push up, and I get the under. Oh, so you like it bends in the back. Mm-hmm. So it like <laughs> oh no it no like I feel you, I feel you. Itself. <laughs> It's like getting out of the pool. <laughs> <laughs> no, so what's yeah. it been like going solo though? Crazy Mr. solo dolo. The first uh, the first one <laughs> was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I felt like I was at like bombing at a bar in like Noblesville or something. <laughs> it helps with stand up for sure. That's the fun part of of doing it of. Uh, you know, doing a show by yourself is just when you when the light bulb goes off that you, you like you don't have to please anybody at that given time. It always takes like two minutes to like, or not two minutes, probably like twenty minutes to like warm up. Sure, and, and it's crazy. It's crazy thinking about how I don't know. Like when I was in college, into radio talk here, but like that was said. Like picture, like picture, create a character that you're talking to in your head. Sometimes they would even like make us like create this person and like print out a picture and like put it on the computer in the studio with us. So it was like you're talking directly to that Whoa. person rather than because, you know, if you open the mic and you think about, oh, well, you know, 1,500 people are listening to me, then all of, all of a sudden it becomes a homily. You know, it becomes like a, a damn That's speech. How, that was the first one I, I did. Yeah. That's but like, then if you like have just a even... person like we're talking right now, then we're just talking and then everybody else is listening afterwards. Who's the person you put on the computer screen? <laughs> Dude, I was such a little dick to my radio professor. I like the Jordan meme was hot at the time. And so I like the crying Jordan one. And so I like printed out the crying Jordan meme face and like, I don't know. Yeah, I was. I, I, I was thought it'd be like Sammy Sosa being an asshole. No, nah, it was uh, Carrie Wood. It was Anthony Rizzo. <laughs> ben Roethlisberger. It was Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. But it does help. It does. Yeah, what? it's been cool. That's good. This is so funny though. Being like on the other, do you feel how I feel sometimes? Of kind of like you're running the sh- you're running the ship yeah, back there. So, so much it's more like, of the captain over here. Yeah, oh my God. when you're just over here on the other side, just fucking around, you can be Captain Fucky while Sarge back there has to 
take care of it. Hut. Yeah, yeah, but you can play music and shit back here. That was so cool. Yeah, I do we miss that part. That. And that was fun. That was like the most fun on our shows is just when we get on those tangents about that. Are we going to do that cool for the summer music video? Man, I've been waiting. What it's are, it's like, officially summer now. So. What are we going to even do? I don't are, we trying to, are we trying to storm on here right now? Yeah, I mean, we have to do storm? it. We have to do it all out. We've done a music video before. We have to try to probably oh. get like a... We have to probably try to get like a classroom of some sort, you know, to be able to give it the the official, like we were talking about in that, that bit, yeah. the janitor and the principal <laughs> with the tie on the head. Have a good one. <laughs> <da-na, da-na. laughs> that song's such a banger though, man. Straight heat. I've been on those guilty pleasure joints. I sent you like four last night. Oh yeah, I saw that. I rolled over in the middle of the night. I've been going to bed early as shit recently. It's been Time. nice. Like nine fifteen. What? Yeah. What time you get up? Well, I was up. You late. get up at like four a.m. Dylan What's and a few, few, Dylan and a few of our buddies were in town on Saturday, so I was up just late as shit. It was just super like stupid late. Like a couple weeks ago, when we were <laughs> we were like karaoke and shit and playing Johnson. We were playing oh. Blitz, just like up for no reason. So I was up super late going into Sunday, and so then Sunday night I was like, <laughs> and it was. Father's Day, so you know the whole day. Uh, oh, uh, and then <laughs> by the time it was like eight thirty, I was just out. So, so it's routine now. What did you do on Father's Day? Man, I was. We were all. That's funny. We basically just talked about your dad. <laughs> no, my yeah, my pops. We uh, it was what what did we do? God, two days ago, I can't even freaking. Remember. I hate when people ask me out there. Like, what did you do on Friday? I'm like, uh, um, let me backtrack everything I've been thinking about Bye. for the yeah. past. Uh, we had a double dip, you know. Father's Day to me is not really. It, it's not shit. And dads don't. It's not like Mother's Day where you gotta right. like. Dads are like. Eh. Right? right. They like There's not even, a dad that's like, where's my like you're not gonna come over? And they like don't even want to do it. You know? Dude, I went to my dad's house, walked up the stairs, I was like, What's up? Happy Father's Day. And he was like, Yeah, you know. I was like, You wanna <laughs> do something? And he's like, What are you gonna do? And I was like, All right, see ya. I went downstairs, didn't look at him for the rest of the day. I was there for seven more hours. What are you gonna do? <laughs> what what are you gonna do that we haven't done already? I was like, All right, yeah. No. Damn, what did we do? We we okay. So it was typical Father's Day, the most Father's Day. Like you argue about where you're gonna eat for about forty five minutes. One of the places he wants to go to, you know, he's trying to make everybody happy, even though it's his day. <laughs> that's so you know? bad. And then one of the places that where he wanted want to go. <laughs> that's what I'm getting to. The first place that he really wanted to go to, he uh, for some reason couldn't think of it, and he said uh, the uh, is it wing in the the, the wing stop. You know the the wing, the wing stop. <laughs> I, I don't know. It, it's just the... it's just wing stop, and uh, but they they didn't have the sauce that he likes anymore, so <laughs> that was axed. And then he got on a train for about fifteen and twenty minutes of just being like, you know, whatever you guys want. You know, I just I I just whatever you guys want. I'm glad you guys are here. Whatever you guys want. It's your day, Dad. Hey, whatever you guys want. And my mom starts getting shitty. You know, that's always the backlash. Of, like, uh, whenever we don't pick a place within the first 10 minutes, then all of a sudden she's like, peanut butter and jelly. Oh. Cereal. And sometimes you just roll with it. You're like, fine, I'm good fine, with that. Whatever, you know. But then eventually we land on a spot. And then. Peanut uh, butter and jelly. <laughs> yeah. Then we were just chilling. And then we went and saw uh, Rye Stepdad. And it, like I was saying, the Father's Day, those kind of days are not double dip days. No, that's like Christmas for sure. Christmas and Thanksgiving, you double dip. You don't double. That's it. You know, Thanksgiving, ideally, not even Thanksgiving. No, you just want Christmas s- is like the only real like. All right, we got to have structure here. You like, just there's wanna, a lot going on. Yeah. But yeah. Father's Day, jeez, you know, and it's, it's like a wash. Love rice stepdad, love her dad, but she, you know she has two dads technically because of you know the stepdad and the dad. So then all of a sudden it's like, well, you know, let's yeah, just triple dipping. Yeah, we're gonna do a, a fucking brunch, lunch, and dinner here. But uh, we ended up not seeing her dad, but it was all, it was all good. But I mean, double I just I can't with those kind of holidays with a double dip. You, it's a lot of work. Man. You stay. You just gotta stay. You gotta have a fit for that too. Like you gotta be ready. And those are the, the those are the holidays that like you're always out partying, hanging with people the night before, and so you're hungover. God damn. 
Christmas, you know, yeah, sure, you might drink, have some wine or something with the family, but, you know, you're right. You, yeah, it's like you're you got a presentation to, the next day. You're going to bed, and you're, like, getting up early. You're prepared mentally for that next day. You don't want to get up and double dip, run across town all day on Father's Day. It's hot. You're hungover. It's just a nightmare. Summer in the car, man. Why am I even wearing clothes anymore in the car? The back bottom of my shirt. Oh, man. What's the point? Just a pond. Do you always just have to drive like this? <laughs> you always throw it up there? And- uh, <sighs> driving in the summer with a dress shirt on? Driving with dress clothes on. Kill me. Like, can I just mail them to you and when I get there, I'll change? <laughs> <laughs> We start that overnight express. That wouldn't be a bad idea. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so is is Joker's the only one though that's going, or is it? Yeah, right now. That's the only one. It's probably like illegal. Have you liked not? I feel like I I feel like you've I feel like it's been good for you to not have. I think it's been good for all comedians. It's been out. It's been unbelievable to not have to always go you know because prior to this you know every night you were hitting somewhere all the time you know selfishly it's been i'm like okay this is cool we can actually you know fuck chill around a little bit oh, chill you know we can do that kind of stuff also while also still you know doing videos and everything yeah it's so been that's- strictly videos which has been cool it's been like dude the whole lockdown we were pretty much hanging out the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's okay or not, but. Well, I mean, we had our we time did. where it was like, you know, in March when it was like. Whoa, Serious. Whoa. It was like, okay, you know, but. Then after a week, we're like, work that, from home, guys. Man. I mean, if you're if you're not <laughs> out in a shit ton of people, it should be all right. Yeah. I don't know. I wrote a blog about this today. The responding to reactions, like text reactions. Oh, I just saw that. What are your thoughts? I really like text reactions. But in your mind, and you do because you you send them often, in your mind, when you send a reaction to a text, or or when you react to the text would be the proper Mm -hmm. use of the phrase, are you okay with getting a response back? Is that technically a response for you? Does that break the order of response their response, your response, their response, your response. If I hit like a thumbs up on somebody and they respond back, I feel bad. I'm like, damn, they like they really it. want to talk. Yeah. But if you know, if if that's just the end of the conversation, I don't feel bad. But uh, a la- like a ha ha. Oh yeah, yeah. Or yeah. an emphasis. I guess it just um, it depends on what reaction you pick. Because a ha ha is like inviting to like if somebody ha ha me on something I said, I'd probably hit them back. After that, with like a real text, even if it was a girl, if a girl ha ha, one of my, I might just end it there on a girl. Like I don't want to go too far. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to ruin this this ha ha for you. Right. Yeah, because I the way I kind of, <clears throat> way I kind of broke it down in the blog, is to me if it's like a newer thing, you're trying to court somebody in that situation. If a ha ha reaction comes about. To me, that kind of screams equivalent of like, aw, haha, cool. If that text came across. Like early relationship. If that text came across, you wouldn't want to look at your phone again the rest of the day. Oh, like now, that. If, you got exactly. hit, if, if instead of them reacting with a ha ha to your text, if they actually responded like, aw, haha, nice. Bye. You're not responding to that. So you're not going to respond to the haha reaction. I'll never see you again. <laughs> yeah, but if it's just like me and you, we can just react. Like if it's somebody you know, you can just Yeah. Because typically, and like I said as well, typically, you know, you'll emphasize a text that I send you or you'll laugh at it. And then that's kind of like a holding me over until you send something back. Uh you know, you kind of haha, so I get that instant, I'm like, ah, oh, nice, he likes it. And then, then you'll and come then back like, with something else. Yeah. So then I know we keep going. That's pretty typical with buddies, I feel like. Uh-huh. You know, obviously, being married, I don't have too many of these instances where I'm, you know what I mean, where I'm worried. Obviously, I don't when I'm texting a female besides Riley. Dude, I think girls use it on, like, special occasions. Yeah. 
Like if you say something like very meaningful, which we never know when we do shit like mm-hmm. that. And then you like you're gonna keep texting and keep texting. They might like like love it. Yeah. And you're like, wow, like I've never seen her do that before. Yeah. <laughs> like and guys don't guys don't hold them back like that. Guys will just free fire. See, reactions are much more popular in group messages. Oh, see, I think that's they're made for that. They're they're lifesavers in group messages, and I and I understand those. But like when somebody says "Happy Birthday," you just exclamation point it. You're like, you don't uh, need forty five Happy Birthdays from the same group. But then it's like, if you're gonna send a Happy Birthday text, just send it individually. Yeah. I mean, if we're going that far, yeah. You don't you don't send Happy Birthday text in a group, dude. I'm in a group chat with like thirty people. Been like that for four, like four or five years. Every time. Happy birthday. Seven more. Mm. Yeah, to me, a happy birthday. If you're gonna if you're willing to text this person a happy birthday, even if it's in a group chat, just do it individually. Yeah. You know? If that's the case, then just tweet at them or write on their Facebook wall. A happy birthday text from somebody out of the blue is like <gasps> Yeah. It's like, damn, I gotta not really gotta remember their birthday, you know? But then all of a sudden it gets into like this weird, you, you just, your birthday buddies. You don't ever talk besides your birthdays. That is so weird. So it's like, what what are we doing here? Can we at least mix in, I don't know, an occasional beer or two in between? I was or like, like that with Joe Finelli for so long. What is what is that? I was like, I don't know. Like Everybody it, it, has one. His, Chase Steinbrenner. I don't ever see him. I don't ever talk to him besides our birthday. birthdays. I just and I know Finelli's birthday because it's October second. I'm like, that's a hard month and a hard number. You're an October baby, number yeah. two. My connection with Chase, both Sammy Sosa fans, <laughs> both Cubs fans. It's like that's this it. weird Cubs birthday thing that we got going on. It is weird. After a while, you're like, wait, are we? I just stopped after like three years. I was like, it was getting kind of weird. That, but then you know when you stopped, he was. He's just kind of waiting for the the Ben birthday text. I don't think he got me back the last month. I was like, happy birthday. I don't think I got anything back, so I was like, forget it. Ah, uh, okay. Forget That's when you just make the transition okay. to Twitter or yeah. Facebook. Twitter birthdays are weird. Don't 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 wish me a happy birthday on Dude, Twitter. one year, one year everybody was doing it to me and I was retweeting them. I feel like such an idiot still. <laughs> retweeting <laughs> happy birthday retweet. <laughs> Just clogging people's timelines with my birthday. <laughs> so <laughs> self, so selfish. So, but it's your day. Instagram story birthdays. Oof. Damn. Those are rough. What about girls just making like high huddle highlight reels for their friends? You know, mm. like damn, how much do they care? And how long does that take you? Like to get every video on your phone of you and that one girl and put it together in sixty seconds with like on a weird app with like a song in the background and like a weird app watermark down there. Mm-hmm. Mojo. <laughs> yeah. Mojo Jojo. Like damn, so special. And you don't even like her. <laughs> <laughs> Got to put this together for her birthday because if she doesn't, she's gonna freak out. <laughs> That's the only reason. <laughs> It's exhausting, man. And then, like, at what point in our lives is this generation, is all that just going to stop? Just, like, birthday 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 wishes. Birthday wishes on social media. I don't think it ever is. I want to get to the point where, unless you're calling me on my birthday, I don't even, not even, nobody would know. You're calling a birthday. I don't know how I'd react to that. That's true. Calling a birthday, that's tough. Text, maybe just text. Like you gotta be really texts. close. Because because like you, we call our. I call my parents on their birthdays. Yeah, that's like the only time I ever call them. <laughs> but birthday calls are weird. What else do you talk about? This so is what a you sum- been doing. Yeah, this is the summation of a birthday phone well, call. You know, hello, hey, Dad, happy birthday. Weird pause. Thanks, thanks, kiddo. So what's going on today? Yeah, they immediately uh, change it. You know, uh, I'm going to be working on this. You get anything good? Ah, uh, you know. Okay. You guys going out to dinner? Yeah, I think we might go, you know, your mother and I might go to Texas Roadhouse or I something. I don't know. Like that, but uh, who knows? Who knows? But uh, Might end up eating here like normal. Then there's a bunch of just, I'm like, okay, yeah. But uh, yeah, okay. But uh, anyways, yeah. Birthday calls with grandparents? Whoa. <laughs> 
I was always like, do I have to? Mm hmm. Yeah. That's like minute 15. And the minute 15 feels like at least five minutes. You got to be so on your game with your grandma. You got to be prepared to come up with different questions. Mm hmm. So, yep. what about you? What have you been doing? It's enough about me. Ha <laughs> ha. Grandpa keeping you busy? Oh, yeah, you know. Mm. Yeah, so maybe not birthday calls. Maybe just birthday text. With a reaction. <laughs> Dude, are you trying to go viral? Yeah. Bye, bye, bye. You got to get out of here? You got a call or something? <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting on the call, but it's with the, it's with the big boss, so who Uh-oh. knows? Who knows if it'll ever come? All right, hashtag my cartoon character is. Like, if you could pick a cartoon character... Or if a cartoon character that you like grew up watching and stuff, who do you? Mm. Uh, immediately, two would come to mind: Hey Arnold and uh, Freddy from Dude, Scooby Doo. You are Hey Arnold, yeah, and Freddy from Scooby Doo. Hey Just the blonde, Arnold. you know, light skin, light skin white guy with the blonde hair. Somehow I hey haven't Arnold gone is- as Harry Potter or Harry Potter. Somehow I. Ha- <laughs> Quick shift there. Uh, somehow I haven't it's like gone who you really wanted as to Hey Arnold for... Uh, <laughs> that's what it was. It was the H's at the start. I haven't gone as Hey Arnold for Halloween somehow yet. So. You kind of... I mean, now you can, though. Yeah. If you get, like, some serious, like... Like like the gel. Just poke it out. Some serious spiky-ass gel. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad one. But then, you know, Ry would want to go with something... I'll be Helga. Fuck. You can't be Helga. You're not blonde. In terms of like who I would be, like trans, like if, you know, parallel universe, probably those two. But favorite cartoon characters, it's got to be somebody from Family Guy. I mean, you know, Peter Griffin, Stewie. Yeah, what hilarious. good characters. I think if I had to pick one, it, uh, dude, I don't know why, but I like Max from Goofy Movie. Really? Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, Max is cool. He's cool. He's just trying to impress what's her name. What's her name? I don't know. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Roxanne. Yeah, I think that is. I think it is. I think you landed it. (gasps) Yeah, she was bad. Yeah. She She was she was a fine ass dog. She doesn't get (laughs) she doesn't get enough credit in the uh in the hot cartoon world cartoon crushes. They're like Daffy Duck too. Daffy. What's I always get him and Donald. Donald, mixed Donald up. maybe. Wait, who the hell's Daffy? No, Donald's. <laughs> Who's Daffy? Donald Duck, is Disney. Daffy, Daffy Duck is the black duck yeah, on da- Space, Space Jam. Bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's always saying the wildest shit. Donald's the one that's what? like talks like that. I can't do it. Everybody had an uncle that could weirdly Dude, do Donald's. Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> Everybody had one of those. Dude, and they were so nasty with it. Dude, like, how does he do it? Best impression ever. <laughs> Unreal. And it made me laugh every single time until I was like 14. I was like, kind of getting a little weird. Uncle Even Doug, the, with the. Yeah, family get togethers are weird, dude. <laughs> if you really think about it. I but, think- then, but then Daffy with the fifth, you know, the, the list, whereas Donald was just like. <laughs> he always did something that was so funny, but he kind of looked like a priest too. Always got me. He had like a little Daffy? white thing. Yeah, Daffy. It was just his skin. It was just his. It was skin. like Ruby. It was like Ruby. It was like his. Uh, yeah, you know, his little, tie. Yeah. <laughs> but but Donald was always dressed in that stupid ass like sailor outfit. I was like, why are you still dressed? <laughs> why why are you dressed like a baby? Yeah, why are you dressed like your mom's taking it Easter? <laughs> Baby's first Easter. He's Donald Duck. <laughs> he did look like a little like Halloween sailor. <laughs> And you have pants on? You know, I was like, no. I kind of respect it, like but... A, I swear he had a diaper on. Yeah. <laughs> we got to check on the front. There's a little orange, like, you know, pin or, like, button there. <laughs> I swear he had a pin. <laughs> Hold on, man. I'm sorry. I got to tweet that. That's, uh... I think that might be tweet-worthy. Oh, uh, the uncle thing? Yeah. Oh, it's fire. Yeah. Daffy, or Donald Duck. Why? I can't believe there are two ducks. Like that. So close. Yeah, dude, Donald Duck wore a diaper. Bye, bye, bye. Keep going. You Johnny Bravo at all? Oh, yeah. See, I always felt bad for Johnny Bravo. You? Why'd you feel bad for him? I don't know. Like, he's always just like, it seemed like he was really like, 
putting in some serious effort, and girls would just like literally smack his ass around on the sidewalk. Like, remember, wasn't he always getting his ass beat or like falling off a mountain or something? Like he thought he was really cool and hot, but like everybody just made fun of him all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I was always like, I like watching Johnny Bravo. It's kind of depressing though. He was the kind of the Elvis guy, right? He would be like, "Oh, look at that. what? What was his phrase?" Uh, can you I don't f- know. I I swear he had like a phrase that he was known for. He's a simple, yeah. But then if you go as him for Halloween, hey baby, that was such a bad impression. If you go for him as Halloween, then people are like, "Are you from Greece or yeah, the Outsiders?" Trying to look something up. That, and was, you, that was always like a weird wild card show. Johnny Bravo. One, two, three, two. Yeah. Johnny Bravo. Baby. Plastic and looks weird. And it's like, uh, are you hearing that? I just piped in the Johnny Bravo. I don't know if you oh, heard I don't have that. any headphones. Oh, shit. Throw them on. There we go. What'd you say, though? <laughs> what do you mean? What'd you say, for, like, for the last 10 seconds? Oh, I, <laughs> well, said, I was playing this Johnny Bravo song. <laughs> I said if you get, like, you, you, you can't really be Johnny Bravo either because you have to get, like, some weird plastic, like, Johnny Bravo wig or, like, hair piece, and it just would never look like it did on the box or the bag that it came in. Yeah. One, two, three, two. <laughs> Baby. Ha, <laughs> ha, it makes Sassy. me kind of hate him that he was Elvis. Studley. Studley. Oh. Baby. Check the pants. <laughs> Man, I'm pretty. <laughs> yeah. Do the monkey with me. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, girls would always yeah, kick his ass. What the? F- what kind uh, of pretty show? baby. There's so many little shows like that that I like that would just come on randomly. Like Dexter's Lab, but like if you caught that. Yeah. Like, you never knew when it was on, but it would just come on. You'd be like, oh, did you eat it? Parenting horror story. Hashtag parenting horror story. I took this as, like, something embarrassing that happened to you or something that just, that your parents caught you doing or just, like, you didn't anticipate them, like, catching you doing when you were a kid. You have anything like that? Weird thing they caught me doing when I was a kid. Dude, when I was a kid, we had the type of computer, like that program where you could like have your own desktop. Like there'd be like a login page and you'd have like three uh, little boxes yeah. there and it'd be like, your sister, your- Everybody you know, have their weird little icon. Mom, yeah, yeah. It'd be like a flower, uh, sunflower, something like that. Dad, definitely a football. <laughs> <laughs> and the password, yeah, of course. Football yeah. one. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Time to update it. Football two. But do. we never did the like separate thing for separate people. We just had one, and it was like, whew, and we just clicked that every time and just went into it. And I left my email up one time, like my SBC Global email. Like I don't know <laughs> yeah, what our yeah, thing yeah, was yeah. then. And then, uh, and my mom went through all my emails. Oh, who were you emailing? <laughs> A girlfriend Chicks. in eighth grade. Chicks. <laughs> A girl that broke my heart in eighth grade. Oh, but it was no. like. The worst romantic talk of all time. Oh, God. You doing romantic talk. (laughs) That kind of had some game, though, in eighth grade. (laughs) What was your go-to? What would you call her? Baby? You called her Boo, didn't you? Yeah, I was a Boo guy. Really? I was Boo. I'm not cool enough to do Boo. I can't pull it off. It sounds weird and white and lame. What's up, Boo? Yeah. What do you say? Call Riley, you know, the normal. Babe. Baby. We call each other weird shit. Yeah, that's how it gets. Like nugget and like bean and yeah, dude. I was a boo guy. Uh, I don't know. I never really. I thought I always thought it was kind of cringy because like waitresses at weird diners would call you like honey and shit. So I'd be like, I don't know mm. if I want to call anybody I actually like that. That's how I like remember hardcore that I'm married is when I when I drop a honey or when she drops a honey on me. Whoa! Like it's like oh my god, I am. This is wild. But my mom printed the email off and highlighted 
all the like inappropriate stuff I said. That wasn't really like gross and inappropriate, but it was like eighth grade, like eighth grade inappropriate. And she what put were we talking about like, dang, like probably talking about like making, making out, out under bleachers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, dude. <laughs> like in the woods, you know, oh, like yeah. during like Friday football games. Yeah. Oh yeah. So like that. So then my mom was like, "Okay, that's that's why he always wants to go to these games on Fridays." Mm-hmm. So she like highlighted all that stuff and like put it on the computer desk and like I came home from school and she was in like she was in like a weird mood. Like you know when she mm, you're like you you're, you're in trouble. Up. You're yep. like what? Oh yeah. Like I th- really thought I covered all my bases. Coming home on a Friday. Like, oh, with damn, that vibe? Friday. Yeah. Like, Thursday night, like, hey, boo, this is what's going down tomorrow, email. Yeah, for sure. An email, though. <laughs> Why not AIM? How sexy. Like, you didn't want to... Dude, I have no idea. Maybe she wasn't logged on. So, you had to... So, I just hit her on the... Right. So, just she didn't forget. Just hit her on hotmail.com. Yeah, dude, but my mom, like, set him out, and she's like, this is not what we do. This is not... <laughs> This is not happening. What if she, she hit me with this? She was like, what if grandma saw these? I was like, oh. dude, can someone just have a grandma that's just down to clown once? So Why my parent grandma's can't always use had that? to be in the army? In like the Cops. most like holier than thou. Literally St. Mary Teresa. My, yeah, my grandma's not Mary. <laughs> like, I don't know. She'd probably be like, oh, well, you know, let's pray about it or something. But damn, like. You're right. Okay, in the locker room, everybody needs to act like your grandmother's in there. Like, I'm not going to clean this whole place up. <laughs> what do you want to do? Put you some, want me to dust? You put some toffee candies out in the middle of it or something? I mean, Jesus. <laughs> My grandma's in here. There better be some m and M somewhere. <laughs> some cream savers? Ooh, damn. Does your grandma have like a candy tray? Does every grandma have that? Maybe not. They did when I was younger. But I feel like that's kind of grown out of grandmas. I mean, at least my grandmas. <sighs> my grandma had like a turntable with like four different sections. Yeah. It was like caramels, peanut M and M's, which buy. damn, cream saver sometimes, and then like chocolate covered raisins. That's a hype uh, collection, dude. There. <laughs> like four time. for four. Yeah, usually that's what they're known for is like shitty ass like toothpaste kind of candy. My grandma had kind of kind of had some swag. You got a nightmare? Tooth. Yeah, I mean, it's typical stuff like that. Like, uh, you know, search histories or like, you know, of course they knew how to go through my, um, you know, like my MySpace messages or something like that. You know what, what? I mean? Like you'd think that you- Oh, you yeah. Could, like, you know, like if I'm logged off, they can't do it, but somehow. They know. Like they know the password probably because I would use like their fucking email to get all the login info in there, you know, like just a dumb kid. Um no, I mean, it's, I feel like every guy has like a typical that kind of stuff. Probably every girl too, you know. Yeah, just get caught, caught slipping. Yeah, first time caught slipping with you know people flirty of the slip sex. ups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a weird thing for parents to see, I'm sure. But I mean, at the same time, like imagine like seeing your kid like that weird email or weird like MySpace message. Like, dude, that's your game. <laughs> like, yeah, you need I to think, watch a couple movies, bro. I think about that sometimes, but then I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's kind of the process, you know. Everybody's learning, yeah, just learning a little bit. But kids have it so easy nowadays; that'll never happen with our kids because they can just DM. It, it, I mean, it's all it's all right here. We had to get on our parents. It was suicide. It was it was social suicide that we were doing. We had to use our parents' computers and most likely their emails. To talk to be able to talk to girls, girl you like, dude. I was online. I was emailing a girl that I liked through my mom's email at one point because I didn't have my own email. That's what I'm saying. She's like, "Love you," and I was like, "Love you too." Sent from Amy Polizzi. <laughs> 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 SBC some weird, yeah, yeah. Like, I had, I was an SBC org. global gang for like ten years. Yeah, I might still have it. You and Danny <laughs> Cox, man, that's hilarious. It's funny how you remember that kind of stuff. Like, but yeah, dude, SBC like global? my cousins, dude, they're like on Snapchat with their own stuff since they're ten years old. They don't. Dude, what parents gonna be like hijack their phone and go through all of it? Most parents don't even know how to work the damn phones. Like. It's so easy. They don't ever have to call. We talked about this. You don't ever have to call and talk to a parent, you know? Hey, is uh, Ashley there? Oh, uh, yeah, that was. What's a- it to you? Uh, I just wanted to, th- you know, like they don't have to do any of that. That was my worst nightmare. 
Like I used to call like the girl I dated's house, but like her younger sister of like two years younger would pick up and I'd be like, hey, so-and-so. And she'd be like, this isn't her. I'll go get her. And I was like, oh, I was just about to talk to your little sister like it was you. That's better than her dad. <laughs> but you can't confuse a dad. You can't confuse it, but damn. when yeah, that hold on. Yeah. yeah, I can, yeah. Uh, always, always pauses like he's thinking about it. Hello? Hey, can I talk to so-and-so, please? Oh, you want to talk to her? Uh, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah sure, 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 sure. Is, is she there? Yeah, uh, let me go check. I think she might be working on something. Hold on. It's like, oh, God. Now there's like a curfew. Now she's like working on homework. He's going to be standing over her shoulder the whole time. Probably listening on the other line. That was the worst. Yeah, like what kind of dad are you going to be if you have a daughter, you know? I you can't be, be that like hard ass dad. Nah, I hate hard ass no dad. There's no way. I hate hard ass dad. It's annoying. It's played out. Like what do you got a shotgun when I pull up to your like we daughter's get it. House? We get it. You you don't want your daughter like you want get her home by ten. You want your daughter to be safe. Who doesn't? Right. You know what I mean? Like d- 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 come on. I mean, I don't know. I've Dads le- around relationships is just the weirdest thing of all time. I've learned really well from my dad. I've been really lucky. He he's not he's not like that at all <laughs> when it comes to you know, but it's kind of like the put. If you push too much, then that's where it's like uh, the daughter's gonna be maybe going behind your back, like yeah, trying yeah. to sneeze on I me. Mean, but if you're just like, hey, like, all right, honey, have fun, then she's gonna be like, you know, yeah. like it's typically that way. But if you're like psycho hard, every psycho hard ass dad, at least ninety five percent of them, I feel like, you know, they don't get along with their daughter. Their daughter wants to rebel against them and. That's where you have problems come in. But if you're just like, yeah, if you're a teenage cool, girl, you're going to have boys that like it, you're going to like boys, you know, I'm here, I'm your dad, I'm cool. You got to be cool, dad. It's cool. You got to be cool, dad. Dude, one time I Too had- Too cool, dad, though? Mm. Yeah, I mean, you, know, you have to make it clear that obviously there's an expectation there. But you can't. <laughs> we talked about the dad that like that does like push-ups in front of all the friends that are over in, in the basement. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Like, who are you trying You're to... cheating on your mom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who are you trying to impress? Um, yeah, I had a, I had an uncle one time, and he's not in the family anymore. He's alive, but he's not in the family anymore, so I think I can talk about it. He's alive. But he, like, it was just weird, man. He, like, wanted... Uh, he wouldn't, like, acknowledge the kid, and, like, the kid was at a family gathering. Oh, like, the just, boyfriend? Like, yeah, and, like... Dude. He's just Grow super up. weird. I was like, what are we doing, man? Little... It was just super annoying. And the kid was like a nice kid, like look put together. It was like talking, you know what I mean? I mean, I hate that shit. I had a girl over at my dad's house one time, like wild card, like lived close. So I was like, whatever, just come. Dad, do you care? Like, yeah, but it, look, it wasn't nice. He was like, no, it's cool. But I was like, what am I doing? I was just like sitting there with her while my dad was like walking around the house. I was like, this is so weird. And <sighs> dude, my dad came up to us. He was like, why don't you guys like go play basketball outside or something? <laughs> How I'm, old are I'm you? I'm trying to like make a move. What was this like, like this two was- weeks ago? <laughs> <laughs> Last night. <laughs> it was like, uh, like freshman year in high school. Okay. That's man. Freshman year in high. That's a tough. I would never do that now. It's a tough age. I would never bring anyone to my dad's house now. Tough age. like you for making like a video. <laughs> Tough age to have some game, man. That's uh, because you're so caught in between. That was supposed to be like, like the kiss day. Yeah. So like we, we've kind of like hung out like twice weirdly somehow during like, but if we, if you, this is Now it. it's this happening. It. Yeah. But then it's, you know, because then a friend, by the time you get to be like a junior in high school, yeah, yeah junior's, junior's fair it's like you could kind of have some independence maybe like be upstairs while they're downstairs or downstairs while they're upstairs or whatever Door open. you know like but freshman year i mean it's mostly like you gotta like be still in, middle school. in the vicinity yeah so you, you like do, living room yeah and which is fair that's pretty young so, but, but that's I was what, like why don't you guys why are you sitting here just go why don't you go play some horse yeah <laughs> But, you know, shout out to him. That's a flirty little fun, you know, way to be outside, be on your own. Yeah, it was good. That was a good break. So I was like, okay, now we can leave after this. Walks are big. We're going to go on a walk. It's like good activity, but like kind of like, 
like people are around and can see, but you know, still kind of hot. Mm-hmm. You never know. The walks are hot. Is there? Maybe is, we walk to a park. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't. We didn't say where we're walking. We just said we're walking. Yeah. There's always little sneak arounds so that you can. You know, it's it's like an understood thing that you don't realize when you're a freshman. You think. Okay, they don't realize, but then you don't remember that they've also already done yeah. these go arounds. So yeah, everything, yeah. Like yeah, we're playing basketball, but uh, if I make this shot, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> exactly. It's like we're gonna study if you get this right. <laughs> Hashtag. If COVID never happened. Damn. COVID never happened, I'd be in New York right now. Oh, when were you supposed to go? Dude, that would be insane. Beginning You're of, still going. Beginning of this month, uh, we probably would have been there. Um, a lot of people wouldn't have gained as much weight. Yeah, that quarantine 15. Uh-huh. Um, probably some relationships would have either started or would have lasted. You know, I've heard a lot Besides, of... Besides, like, all the deaths, I think it was pretty good for, like, <laughs> for, like, people's minds. You know what I mean? Well, you know... Like, the I biggest hear. curveball, literally, of all time. Yeah, it was, you know... But, like, seriously, though, I mean, if you were affected by it, like, yeah. health-wise, yeah. Not, yeah. Uh, not okay. No. But if you were cool, like... Yeah, it's like, you know, what's like what everybody was talking about back in March. It was, you know, that meme of... Those guys, you know, the the soldiers on D-Day that was like, our ancestors or our grandpas saved the country by going to war on D-Day. All we have to do is sit on the couch. So it was like for that period of time, if you took it seriously, like most of us hopefully did, you were. You were just like at I th- home I thought chilling I had it like, like three Christmas times. break. Did you think you had it? You, you, th- you had to like once. Yeah. Uh. All right. Hashtag reminds me of my childhood. For yeah, me, it's summer. First. Damn, really everything. But summer for me sticks out, which you didn't even have a summer growing up because of I baseball didn't. and shit. My summer sucked. I think that's why I just that's why just summer. now, these have been the best three summers of my life. These last three? These last three. Parents got a pool, been an adult, have my own money, can drink, don't have to do travel baseball. I'm just outside chilling all the time. I'm living the summers that I never had. The pool is a flex. On the corner, yeah, that I, I it, that just now hit me that you said that. This is why I am now a summer guy. It's because now I'm living downtown. I can enjoy the pool. I don't have to be doing bullshit baseball stuff on the weekends when everybody else is having fun. Those tournaments and shit growing up. I'm so glad I never had to do that. I'm, I'm like I'm I'm living summer now. Summers my was my shit growing up, man. Vacations. Why did it feel like summer lasted like four years when we were younger? And now it was like, it's like devastating when it was the end. But it, when it was the beginning, like when you got went to school that last day and didn't even have to bring your backpack, you were <laughs> you were looking, you were standing on the beach looking out at the ocean. There was no end in sight. You know, there's no end in sight. And now it's like tomorrow's Fourth of July, damn near. <laughs> you know, it's like what the. Fuck? Fourth of July is gonna pop off. It's a That's weekend. Like, it is. What day is it? It's Saturday. Fourth of July is on a Saturday. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. I think that's like the com- that's like the end of lockdown officially. Fourth of July. No, really, independence. Is. In, yeah, in, in in Indiana. Yeah, it like it's it legitimately is. Yeah, that's when everything is supposed to be one hundred percent back open. Everybody in. Every you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's like next week. Yeah, I know. Isn't that weird? Yeah, it's a Saturday. Dude, bye. I know. Everybody's going to die that day. (laughs) More people are going to die on 4th of July than they did during COVID. (laughs) Just because everybody's going to be so happy. July July 3rd, everybody's going to take that off. Everybody on the Thursday of July, people are most like most offices are going to be people on vacation. Really, once it hits July 1 on that Wednesday, you're good until the next week. Bye bye, mommy. <laughs> Bye, mommy. <laughs> All right. Dude, uh, what's what's so. <laughs> Bye, mommy. We- Saying that to your boss as you leave on Wednesday, <laughs> like peek your head in the door, she'd be like, "Holy shit, he's getting drunk." <laughs> Bye, bye, puppy. Uh, 
so just some <laughs> stupid shit, but I laughed so hard on Sunday on Father's Day. We were over at my parents, and I wish you would have been there for this because we, like, my mom. You know, when like parents say something that's just like stupid and funny that you just laugh about for you got your sister there, like you just laugh about for fucking. That's six like fun. Years. Like she didn't mean it to be funny, right? Like what? so. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about like what we're going to eat, of course, in the two hour conversation that it took to happen. Uh, we were talking about what we we're going to eat. And then she was talking about how we have cake left over. And so everybody's like, you know, my dad was like, yeah, we have cake. Everybody, my mom was like, yeah, we have cake. And everyone's like, oh, cake. Wow. So she was like, so we can get some food, but not too much because I'm going to have because we still have cake and I'm going to eat lots of it. And she like scrunched. She like scrunched. She like, dude, she scrunched her like neck in and her arms and her shoulders together. And she's like, and I'm going to eat lots of it. <laughs> it said it like a different voice, man. Like, why'd you just turn into I, a chipmunk? Dude, I laughed for 30 minutes after that. And like, <laughs> it was just one of those things that was so funny because parents just, moms sometimes, I think they like try to be cool. They're like funny. And it, it was, but it was so <laughs> And I'm going to eat lots of it. <laughs> it's like literally turned into a, someone from spa- a cartoon from Space Jam. Totally normal. And we have cake after, so don't eat too much because I'm going to eat lots of it. <laughs> what did your dad do? Was he like, huh? We looked right at each other, just started <laughs> laughing our ass off. Maddie, Maddie fell on the floor. She was laughing so hard. Best laughs ever is when that shit happens. <laughs> And when we were talking about what you and your dad were going to be doing on, uh, oh, your mom was like, they're probably they'll probably celebrate Father's Day like a couple months from now. Yeah, dude, our Christmas this year was crazy. It was literally like the weekend after Valentine's Day, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I guess it's, this is just what we're doing now. Two Christmases, not mad. <laughs> Valentine Valentine's Day after uh, or Christmas after Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day in March. Uh, forget St. Patrick's Day because everybody wears green. Fourth of July, and, uh, about Fourth of January. <laughs> That's not <sound> good. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Days, let's go, days. Okay. Thursday, Thursday. Always. Always. Sir. National Parfait mm-hmm. Day. Never been a parfait guy. I like the same amount of calories as like the Sundays at McDonald's, you know? When yeah. that like broke and that came out. Everybody's like, but they're healthy. Because they're, cause they're, cause they're, cause they're French. <laughs> I had like four today, honestly. Dude, they t- they, they're one of those things... And I know we've had a segment on here before where it's like... They're spin- the same days, dude. We've been doing this show no. for three years. It's all the same days. I'm doing this damn... Bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm doing this. We've done it. Like, we've done Parfait Day three times. No, but I mean, I've like... i said the same shit all three No, times. but I mean, like, a segment where it's, like, things that should be good, but they're not. That's uh, Parfait, dude. It, it, they're not that it look, bad, it looks It looks like a tree. It's got the, like, white cream. It sounds pretty. Parfait. It's got some, like... You know, strawberry sauce, which is not good. The fruit's like frozen. You You're want like, it, oh, you, damn, you, you know, it hits like your sensitive tooth. You want it to be good so badly, but it's it's just not. The nuts kind of do it for me, though. Mm, no. <laughs> it's, it is what it is. Looks better than it is? What else is like that? Looks better than it is. Circus peanuts. <laughs> Dude, every time I see this, or a peep. Cotton candy. Every time I see a peep, I'm like, damn, that would be good. Cotton it's like candy. Smiling. There's like seven. Swedish fish. I like Swedish fish. I do too. They're great. They're just null on, but they should taste better. Why the? F- Why are they only giving us red in the bag? I swear there's like seven different colors of fish, and they only put red in the bag. I don't know. Maybe it's a Swedish thing. I don't. Dude, mix it up. Mm. 25 red fish? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, After two, I'm like, that's it. Yeah, and they're fine. They but are they just could straight be up. so much just, better. Like that should be their slogan. They're they're all right. Swedish fish. They're fine. They're fine. <laughs> People would appreciate that. I think they'd be like, oh yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah actually, the yeah. honesty that's good. Kind of want some. That's exactly right. Let's go to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, cotton candy for sure though. 
The presentation of cotton candy. When they're swirling it out there, and you're like, oh my God. Dude, at sporting events? Yeah. I'm like, mm. give me some of that. You take <laughs> like, one. Even if I don't want it, I'm still like, damn. You take one <laughs> hand. Time. Yeah, you take one handful. It feels all weird in your hand. Your hands get all sticky. It doesn't taste like anything at all. And you kind of like, is this static in my mouth? Then it like, uh, it like, compresses down in your mouth too. Yeah. Like, what am I eating now? A carpet? I will never ever get my kids cotton candy. At ever. least once though. Ever. Just just once does it like it's a mom thing. Let mom do that. I'm not doing it. You know why? Because it sucks. I'm gonna tell you that. It sucks. Surprise is over. Your, your, your kids will never believe that that shit sucks. Pi- pineapple kind of lives up to that though. It's like the exterior of a pineapple is like <laughs> oh, are we're you, having a party. Is this a Versace commercial? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Sure. Are you, is this pineapple in the Migos? Sure. <laughs> the Migos. <laughs> is it Migos or is it the Migos? I don't know. I think it I was. Think it's I think Migos. it was the Migos, and then because they were like the Amigos, and they just get rid of the. the. It's like Facebook. Did I just dad the Migos. I think you did. I think it was the Migos, and then like they got hot and they dropped the the. Yeah. Because like I said, or like I'm Facebook. just making myself feel. Drop, drop the the. It's cleaner. It's like Jay Z. Drop the dash after a while. Yeah, I don't yeah. need that. I don't need that. Dash. Yeah. A lot of rappers do that. They like start their careers with like some long ass name, and then they, at the end they're just like DMX is cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Puffy Combs is- Daddy. You just call me Diddy. <laughs> it's just literally everything. <laughs> just compress it all down. The notorious Big Biggie. Biggie. That's fine. Yeah. And then they would just call him Big <laughs> Tupac. Though he's just he just drops a two. Every every Pac. rapper with Lil on the front. Just why do you have it? Why was Lil such a big? Th- it's like kind of making a comeback too. <laughs> every rapper is Lil. Why? <laughs> like early two thousands, it was fucking. You know, Lil Wayne obviously kept going, and he was like the top dog for it. But I feel like everybody was a little something. Then I feel like they went little away. Little Bow Wow. Started was, getting, little Bow Wow just went to Bow Wow, and I was like, no shit. He started getting Did you not a think crazy. about this? Yeah, he started getting a little crazy. It was like they felt like in order to be a rapper, you had to have Lil in front. It was like a certification, you know? It's like, you know, if if they were a doctor, you know what I mean? <laughs> doctor okay. in front of their name. Yeah. Oh, shit. Like they are qualified. Like he, every rapper wants to be like so different. And they all have the same exact name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, now we got Lil or no, now we got Dub Baby. Lil Baby too. Lil There's baby. two, but Dub Baby way cooler. Baby. The name. I don't know if he is or not, but okay, <laughs> okay. National Catfish Day. Ooh. Catfish. My catfish hasn't really been active lately. Well, uh, now he good. is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's my day, bitch. Yeah. I don't know. What? What's the thing behind catfish in the name? What do you mean? Like, why is it called that? I have no idea. I always wondered that. Because every time, like, catfish on MTV, I was like, they got hunting and fishing? Catfish? Yeah. Is this Bass Pro Shops? Talk about a weird store. I hate, dude, I never went in there ever. Just the look of it. You go look at fish poles and wires for three hours. Well, I'm gonna get, Tackle box. Why well, am I going to get lost in here, too? Need bait? Live bait on the outside of the window. <laughs> <laughs> Click bait. Why is it called the show. catfish? I don't know. Catfishing is a slang term for creating a fake profile on social media. Uh-huh, uh-huh, we know uh-huh, that's a slang uh-huh. term, guys, but why is that the slang term? Okay, I pulled up. Inspired by a fisherman's lure. Mm. Okay, I kind of get that. That's a little, yeah, that's a little. Fisherman's lure. Lure? Lure. L-O-R-E. That, that's weird, because then it's like, it's in lore. He went into Steelers lore as the greatest of all time. <laughs> or he just lured him. National Bomb Pop Day. I don't know what that is, but I'm thinking it's that like four, like firecracker popsicle. <laughs> that's the first thing. That yeah. red, white, and blue joint. Bomb Pop. That's like I mean. the. That's like the. Like if we're talking popsicles, he's like the captain. Oh yeah. Right. Oh yeah. The the white color on the 
um, on that firecracker one. Very underrated. Automatically, everybody thinks red, blue, very good, sure. White's got like a little bit of lemony sour. There's to something it. in and that. It's like a it weird, is you know, lemon. It it's, is it's lemon. Like, but it's not like uh, it's not like tart lemon. It's just like ooh, easy, easy sour. No, like, you're right. Lemon. Damn, I never thought about. It. I never like it's a classified. Nice, that. It's a nice little touch. The blue is just like so blue raspberry, and the red is so cherry. It's oh, like yeah. what the f- yeah. The yeah. most the most flavorful things of all time. But yeah. the white in the middle is like yeah. It's a good breakup. Just chill. Mm-hmm. It's a dash. It's a dash when you don't know when to use a comma. You know, when there should be like a space and you're like, I need a dash. Yeah. Friday, National Coconut Day. Not a coconut guy. Ever. Mm -mm. Nope. Can't think of one thing that I've been like, I need some coconut. Maybe like a coconut, like liquid mix. Like a a coconut water. That's it. Eh, Not even that. That sounds weird. It sounds cloudy. Have you ever had it? Nope. It's supposed to like double hydrate you. Really? It's the only reason. Yeah, yeah. like after you drink, people are like, oh, water raw. Pedialyte call that water. I used to hey, drink it all the time during two days. People who get Pedialyte after night drinking. Okay. Yeah, baby. <laughs> you go bye bye, puppy. <laughs> Seriously, though, like you, we were talking, you tweeted something like, hey, go to number one all time morning after hungover breakfast, biscuits and gravy. Oh, yeah. And I was like, water and Tylenol. And somebody's like, Funny. Pedialyte. Dude. Like, shut the fuck that shit up. Shit does not work. And you don't like you didn't like you didn't drink that much. You don't need an oh! IV. You mean penalai? I want to go to Kroger's. Everybody knows what I drank last night. Yeah. Shut up, dude. Just like I've you done, said, just drink water. I've definitely done it before and got the Pedialyte just to see like what the hype was about to see if it because if it really worked, I mean that's gonna change your life. Didn't do shit. It's I was like, just, I'm drinking like. A uh, melted popsicle. It's just people who want melted to like firecracker. feel like a badass. But I do. I got so fucked up last night. I had to, I had to have a whole thing of pea light. The grape one goes so hard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the right reason why they have to drink Pedialyte is because all they the only thing that they uh, drink besides Pedialyte and booze is Mountain Dew. The bottle's so like plasticky, you know. You could like throw that thing off like the tallest building in the world. <laughs> it'd, be like, it'd, be, it'd be like, it'd be like, keep going. I hate that though, man. You are not tight because you drank Pedialyte the day na- the day after that. You drank like eight beers and a uh, mixed drink. How about Pedialyte's like reputation though? It like started to become more for adults than babies. That's the that's what's funny though is the the ironic part is people think that it makes you be more of like a hard ass if you're drinking Pedialyte the next day, but really it makes you more of a bitch because you're fucking because you don't need Pedialyte because you just need to get burped. Yeah, you need to sleep. <laughs> you need, you and need drink a, a lot of water rhyme. <laughs> and get some substance in you. You fucking idiot. National Take Your Dog to Work Day. It's not a day. That's. Monday through Friday. I'm so sick of seeing that on Instagram. Like, like you, <sighs> people's places of work. Like, oh. there's already so many like distractions. Like, you look to be distracted at work. My favorite coworker. It's like, why the fuck is there a dog there? Every time there's alcohol at work, pictures on Instagram. You're a marketing company. Why do you need a dog? You want to work with dogs? Go to Uncle Bill's. Dogs. Yeah, dude, the alcohol in the story. Well, I guess. I mean, if they're offering. Boss just said we could, so I did. I mean, not going to say no to happy hour. Boomerang. The minute there's beer at work. <laughs> like, by, like, why are you still here? Dude, If I even if there's food at work, I'm like, I'm not working anymore. <laughs> yeah. There's salad and sandwiches in the break room. I'm like, see ya. I'm done with everything. It's been fun. I'm like, I'm so glad I don't work in an office anymore right now. But at the same time, I'm I I'm kind of missing. You need the content. Yeah, I'm like missing that shit because you just so many ideas are birthed out of that. Every idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my whole personality. 
it, just it, making fun of people at work. And that that's it's what, so easy. And it feels like people don't get it still. But that's what I'm like worried about kind of with bar stools. Like if I go out there and work at, you know, the headquarters out there, everybody is like us. You know what I mean? So there's not going to be any more. So of there's, no, not, there's still well, there's still office guys everywhere. I don't know, man. Yeah, there are. Maybe. There's a restaurant I work at. It's so like that. Like everybody just always has something to say. I'm like, how do you guys just have these lines? I'm like, do you guys re- like rehearse these? Everybody always something. Always. Just it's always comment. like, hey guys, you don't always have to have like the most clever response. <laughs> <laughs> like to everything I say, I could sneeze and they'd be like, Gazuntite. I'm like, dude, I mean, just shut the fuck up! <laughs> I'm like, let one go, bro. Just like, <laughs> just let it whiz by one time. Dude, I helped my sister and her husband move like a month ago. And uh, my brother in law's dad was there helping. So, of course, <laughs> comment king, right? Oh, why so there's it's, so many comments? Dude, it's like, it's like 8.15, right? Early in the morning, getting there, helping move. It's still like a work day for me, technically, right? So I need to like check, you know, social, like just, yeah, you yeah. know, whatever. I move something into the truck. I'm <laughs> looking at my phone on the way back. He's like walking down the stairs or something. Already break time? Hey, Joe, already break time? Oh, you're really getting me going today. Like, already? Why? I've been there. I swear, I I, swear they have, like, flashcards the I, night before, I, and they're like, okay, when he's sitting down, not doing anything, I already break, break time. time. Uh, yeah. I'd already, I've been there for seven minutes, if that. I don't know what's going on with that. just going to hold it now. It's happened a lot. <sighs> Beer. Saturday. National Onion Day. You into onions? You're not. Yeah. No, I like onions. Dude, just recently. Oh, and if you guys thought that uh, Burpee Boy was gone, he is still alive. I know well. you, Burpee Boy. Oh, well. well. I He's sing that for so much shit. Still alive and well, my friends. Yeah, so that tweet you had the other day about pizza twice, then wine. Dude, I was fucked. Yeah, you've got it. But bad. I just like. Oop, you got it bad. Every time you eat pizza. When you sure. eat the pizza. You throw up and your heart starts to burn. You got it, you got it, bad. <laughs> your esophagus <laughs> on fire from your mouth to your ass. <laughs> oot, oot, you got it, got it. You got a gas. Uh, <laughs> you got a gas. You are gas, man. It's fucking. It, but on, you know, on days like that, you just, you know, you just put your head down and just accept it. You know, when you have pizza available twice, of course the in-laws want you to drink wine. You're Come not gonna. On! You're not gonna tu- you're not gonna turn it down. It's good wine. Screwed. Just, just anything red, you can't eat it. You just make sure you got the tums later to go that night and just suffer as is. <laughs> the tums are like fire though. The tums I have now, I'm like, are these sour skittles? Nah, I go straight up with the chalky OG. Boys. <laughs> OG. It's not the same. Right cursing yeah. on the board it's joints. Not the, it's not the same unless you could write Rizzuto on there or Rarudo. <laughs> Those are Z's. <laughs> Movie guys. No. Saturday's onion days. Yeah, I like onions. Onions are uh, they grow. It's the thing is, yeah, as you're older, you know. When I was a kid, I was like, no onion. Now yeah. I'm like, double onion. <laughs> <laughs> now he'll get blooming onion from Outback. <laughs> Just call call you call you blooming like that blue bin onion. <laughs> that's blue bin. Those always did look so fire at Outback. Crikey! Do this. Come get a blooming onion. Outback Steakhouse. No rules, just right. Wow, do, it's do, a throwback do, there. Do, do. I was always like, kind of want to go. They had like that boomerang in all their commercials. Uh-huh. I was like, fuck. Mm-hmm. That's kind of the spot. Falsters. But, Australian for beer. Sorry. Damn, I forgot about that. <laughs> that bowl game where like if one team won, you got like a, everybody got a blooming onion. Yeah, the Outback that? Bowl. <laughs> Don't even care about the college football playoff. Give me who's in that Outback Bowl. Serious, just the game on, like, December 27th. That's the game I like. Mm, December 22nd. December okay, 21st. Yeah, 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 yeah. December 21st is the best day of the year. Just a reminder. I kind of thought it was the 23rd. 21, 22, 23. Fantasy land. 23 getting a little too close. <laughs> 
<laughs> so 21 let's, still are not there yet. Yeah, let's not get ahead still, of ourselves. We're still, we're still you know? having fun. You don't have to, you know, the, uh, you could see maybe like a, a box coming down where your mom's getting ready to put the stuff away, you know. 21st, we're not there yet. 23rd, it's like, well, you know, once these days are over, then I'll be ready to go. It's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Get a little close. Yeah, twenty three. We're walking the line. <laughs> National Ice Cream Cake Day, Saturday. It's kind of like if you're gonna do cake now for me, like, man, I'm just not an ice cream cake guy. Really? What's really, your really cake? Like cookie. All day. Cookie cake. All you do day, fuck every with day. cookie cake. I will like. get cookie cake on my birthday until I'm in the ground. Do you put ice cream on it? Mm. Something about ice cream and then another thing for me is like... Like if you have ice cream and a brownie, I'm like, there's uh, nothing that's, beating that. That's hard. Nothing beating that. That's hard. But cookie cake, no. I go with the original, just a nice clean slice for the first one or two. But then after a while, maybe I'll be like, yeah, you know, add a little something on there. Don't even say it. Hey, will you... uh yeah, <laughs> just give me all give me all flop. Sunday, National Waffle Iron Day. You had me a waffle. I don't know the iron part. What's going on there? Waffle iron. I'm thinking of the waffle like press thing at hotels. It seems like that would make sense, but couldn't tell you. Oh, it is okay. So Sunday, you get, get into that. Uh, yeah, like sure. the continental breakfast? Sure, yeah. One of those I'm, big old waffles. I'm hyped for that shit. Belgium waffles, as I call them. And then they have all the t- shit you can put in there, bro. I, I put M&Ms in there and shit. By it's, the time I'm done with it, it is a cookie cake. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to not just have the regular, you know, Lego my ego shit. Those do still smack, though. The cinnamon, like, you don't like Eggos? I mean, they're fine. What? <laughs> I'm fine. They're, they're fine fun. every now and then, but... The bell. I mean, compared to the Belgium, I have you know, I like an old like a golden corral, like, like a that. Drury Inn. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to go Drury Inn just to have the. Breakfast. What the fuck is the Drury Inn? It's a it's hotel, a bro. Hotel? Why that? It's like a fancy hotel. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it's Dude, like I an. Thought up, it was like a. No, it's like an upscale like Holiday Inn. <laughs> Drury. Yeah. Nobody's ever referenced that. Check it out, about. bro. I know what it is. I see it on the like highway uh-huh. sign. I'm like, Stop sure, off yeah. there one time. Blue and white? No. What? It's like red. Shut up. Yeah. I always... I always uh, it's like a ruby red. The Drury is. I can't believe he said Drury. I'm telling you. Hop off there one time. I know you're always up early as shit. Oh, it is red. Fuck. How about, hop red. in there and be like, hey, I'm staying in room 403 and... Uh, can I get this some, is so exciting to go to a hotel? Get some what is that? I was thinking about that the other How day. Do you like just disregard all the shit that's ever happened in that room, and you're like, they built this for me. Yeah. <laughs> no, as a kid, for sure. Like there'd be times, you know, I didn't grow up with a lot of money or anything. My folks, you know, they're young, young parents. There'd be times like they would take me and my sister to like Cincinnati, just to, like stay in a hotel. And like me and my dad have done that so many times. Like just be away. Like just to let you want to just go to a hotel in Michigan. We're like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, just to like be away and something new. It's like like you said, like kind of different beds. Like oh, it's like exciting to watch the same shit on TV that you watch at your house. Just because that hotel. Yeah, they have it. HBO. You act like a kid when you get into a hotel. You know, you're like you like fuck up the bed. You like oh, steal yeah. shit. You're like throwing towels under the sink. Leave the TV on at all times. Oh, yeah. I leave all the lights and TVs on. Why would you ever turn it off? Walking yeah. into a hotel with no noise, I'd be like, "Is there a ghost yeah. in here? He's gonna kill me." And also, everybody gets so pissed when I do this at home. Why would I not take advantage TV of this not being on? Everything on. Every single light. <laughs> Windows open. <laughs> naked the whole entire stay. Yeah. It's just you can turn into a completely different person. Right. Then you get home and you're like, turn it off. Oh, yeah. That's pretty much it, dude. I mean, we got National Camera Day, but I mean, come on. Remember when iPhones didn't have video? That's wild to think about that being a time. Why? Did you see the new iPhone update that's coming out, though? It looks super hard. What's it do? Is it just for 11s? No, I think anybody can get it, but I mean, that has like on the home screen, there's like two big apps. They're like widgets. Uh, yeah. One's like kind of your calendar, mm-hmm. and then one's the weather. I'm sure you can change it up, okay. but that's how it was like on the Two very example. important things. I'm getting Bang, older. bang, and then like, and it like groups your apps now. Okay. Like, like in like the, ones, the ones, ones you always use. Uh, 
Uh, that should help with storage, though, because you're always going through and you're like, what, what is this? I don't even know what I have. Yeah, this. I just need a group of apps. Yeah. Shit you never use. Yeah. But right when I delete an app, I'm like, I don't ever need this. The next day, I'm like, fuck, I need that. Happens every time. I hate it. <laughs> StubHub. Hey, did you get those tickets? Fuck, I just deleted it. Because <laughs> I haven't used it in three years. Now all of a sudden I need tickets to Lyft? Rascal Flats. Every time Lyft or Uber. Like we're always walking places, like you know what I mean? All of a sudden, whenever I down <laughs> whenever I delete it. Hey, I will just like take a lift. Can you get it? Jesus Christ. I'll just drive. I'm not gonna drink. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Instead of downloading <laughs> I'm not downloading it. Put my seconds. fucking card back in it. I'm not doing any of that. I did something on the Uber app that is like locked my shit. I cannot take an Uber. I can't split an Uber. If you're riding with me, we're not doing Uber. Or I don't know how to, I don't know. I hate Uber. I'd rather do Lyft all day. I don't know why. Me too. Uh, the Uber just seems like... It's intimidating. Uh, it's like silver and black. They're I'm like, give me something me. fun. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, when you get an incoming call on your phone now, it doesn't take up the whole screen. Like, you know, when you get a call, it's like... Mm. Yeah. Like, while you're doing something, you're like, and it's someone you don't want to talk to or like a just some random ass number. Right. So, yeah. Cool. Hi, right, dog. That's it, fam. Thanks for having me. Shot one twelve. One twelve. Yeah. One twelve. It was uh, the boy Joey. It was fun getting back in here. I miss I miss doing this with you. Hell yeah. But yeah, guys. All right. Follow us Instagram, Twitter. You already know. Mm-hmm. Get a cameo. You know at Benedict Polizzi. People are starting to hit me up on cameo for like characters we've done in the past, and it's getting fun. I love it. Got a robot. Johnson. Hunte. <laughs> All right. One twelve. Talk to you guys next week. I fam. All right, now it's a nightmare. Okay. See you guys next week. <laughs>